So folks, it's another beautiful day here at the dealership and you can see that we have a ton of cars stacked up ready to go. Admittedly, they're a little dirty. Now I'm not going to clean these cars because today we have an auction to go to first. And uh, I have a feeling by the time the auction's over with, the day's going to pass and all these are going to be dirty again tomorrow. I mean, we could farm some XP right now and get some satisfying... Oh my goodness, that... Wait, that was a white vehicle? Oh, <laughs> kind of thought it was a different color. It's completely fine. But yeah, we're going to try to get the new car today in the auction. Now, if we aren't successful at getting the new car, I have plans. Finally, with the Ram truck that's parked on the other side of the fence, I'm not going to squat it. I know everybody's going to be like, well, Komodo's going to squat another vehicle. No, I actually want to do the opposite. Like, I wonder how high we can make this. Can we make it look like either a lifted truck or maybe even like a monster truck? Uh, stay tuned to see if we're able to do that. But yeah, I'm really actually just hoping that we get the new car. Uh, looking for the RX-7. I don't know if I'd actually get rid of it. A lot of people wanted to see me keep the GTR, which is uh, across the street. And yeah, we've done that. I'm definitely not getting rid of that bad boy. And I don't think I'd get rid of the other rare car either. But yeah, I think I would probably keep them. Uh, if you recall last episode, we went over the roadmap of stuff coming up. And folks, they have racing, drag racing, more upgrades, uh, dealership upgrades. And I really think we should keep those. Uh, for some potential fun uh, in the future. Which, by the way, if you guys are enjoying this game on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and comment down below what things you would like to see me do. Maybe even build uh, different cars, uh, maybe a certain cell. Uh, right now, I think we're about to have a solid cell, but hold on, let's go down the street. We gotta buy a ticket. Please tell me we're gonna get the new car. Uh, that would be amazing. Also, by the way, my GTR is this dirty after like two days. They, they need to give you like a garage that you can keep cars in that they won't get dirty in. I'm just going to pull up to the auction real quick. Look at all fancy. All right. Shall we buy a ticket or do we want to just wait for the car to appear and not waste the $300? I mean, it depends on if something good comes up here. So here we go. First cars out. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't waste $300 yet. Uh, definitely don't need that. All right, let's wait for the others real quick. Okay, second car that pops out is a Toyota with some very questionable looking tires. And my goodness, that thing is dropped. By the way, I hope you guys don't mind if I just stand in front of you. I'm just, uh, I'm a big fan of the cars here. Uh, we'll wait for the next one. I, I don't think I'm ready to drop money. Like, I want to make some money back on the big sale that we're having. It would be bad if I bought these first two vehicles and the RX-7 pops up and I can't afford it. So I'm hoping that it's going to be under uh, 669 Eh, still nothing that I want. And no, no new car today. Oh my goodness. We're probably not going to get it for a long time. I have heard people still complaining that they've been there 30 uh, different tries and they haven't seen either new vehicle. So I guess we should be, uh, I guess we should be thankful we found the GTR when we did. Uh, all right, so let's pull this into there. By the way, if you, uh, if you're not familiar with what that is down there, uh, that's the tow truck to take you to the new maps where you can do the speed test. We did it last episode, but I bet you somebody who didn't see last episode is probably going, what is that down there? Okay, well, it's a little late. Uh, we'll wake up early. We'll go clean up all of our vehicles one last time before we start our big sale. But I'm hoping to see, I want to say close to 3 million. I, I know I was really wrong last episode when I had a, a big sale. Uh, but I think the numbers, they're probably going to be there this time. So I made a quick detour before going to the uh, the office. Uh, we're at the car lot or the car market and there's actually some decent cars here. We got a Supra. Uh, I feel like let's go ahead and make a little bit more money. Pretty high mileage on this. They're asking an 86. Uh, I'm making 70 right here. You got some miles on this bad boy. It is supposedly fairly clean. Uh, come on. Oh, there we go. 16 grand off. Uh, we'll just go ahead and fill it up with gas. We're probably just going to flip it. We're going to stick it straight on the lot here because I need to get to selling on those other vehicles. Uh, there's another R8 here. I doubt we're anywhere close on price. It's actually fairly low in mileage. And we're not as far as I thought we were. Would they be insulted if I offered them uh, all my money, basically? I mean, come on. This is all I have. I will give you... $599,000 for this. Oh my goodness. We have 700. Okay. We really need to sell some cars. Okay. Uh, actually, could I afford? Oh, I guess I could afford filling that thing up. All right. Let's head over to the office. Yeah. If I don't bring in $3 million here today, I'm going to be actually rather disappointed. Uh, we'll try to open up here really quick. I'm going to have to work on the other cars as I'm selling. Uh, so let me go ahead and hit these one more time real quick. Uh, get them as clean as possible. They might have a little bit of dirt on them, 
Uh, I'm not going to run these all through the car wash. That's what I was saying, man. If we can get a car wash here at the dealership, which I think the plans are going to be really big with the two-story dealerships that are coming, uh, maybe we could get a wash or a detailing center in them. Uh, I feel like that would be really awesome. Uh, it's so weird that a game it's so simple can be so addictive here, but uh, I'm really glad you guys have been enjoying this. I need to clean up some more trash. Uh, we are almost ready to go here. Okay, and we are open. It says our office is still dirty. I feel like there's trash under one of the vehicles. Oh, here we go. Uh, there's a big pile of trash here. Hopefully this is it. There we go. We got a nice, clean... Uh, also, wait, I already have customers? Wait, where are they at? Oh, okay, go ahead and follow in. We got two other cars. I want to sell everything today. Uh, so it's going to be a long day. Looking at the Lamborghini, I got 850000 on it. A little bit dirty. Uh, we paid... Wow, we only paid 300000 on this. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize we got it that cheap. Uh, okay, so we need a bargain. Would you do... How about seven twenty-five? I feel like that is actually a, a very good uh, mark there. Come on. Come on. Boom. All right, so we're up to $725,000. Uh, they are looking at the Porsche over here. Got three twenty-five on it. Uh, fairly clean car. Got a little bit of dirt smudge on it. We paid one seventy-five or about one seventy-six. Uh, would you do 250000 on this? I feel like that's a pretty good price, right? Come on. Come on. Boom. All right. Here's our second sell already. Oh, let's get the Supra. We're going to do just a straight up flip on this one. Uh, I think there's a little bit of money to be made. Uh, I got to stay close to my lot. I don't want to lose customers here. So uh, let's put this bad boy out. Uh, let's go ahead and spray her down real quick. Make sure it's nice and clean. And uh, I've already filled up the tank. So we have that going for us. So I think a nice clean car here. Uh, we can make some cash on this thing. Okay, we got somebody looking at the BMW over here. Come on, this thing's nice. Oh, I didn't fill this one up with fuel. Oops. Uh, they're only wanting to do 88. I don't think we're going to be close on this one. I would do like 115 uh, would be my bottom on this car. Come on, I need to make like 40-ish thousand. Uh, nope. Okay, we're not close. Uh, you can go ahead and go. Uh, we'll find somebody else for this. Oh, you want the uh, the Mercedes here, 140,000? Uh, no damage. Uh, for some reason, the fuels, I think they've set themselves back down. Uh, I swear I put fuel in, like, everything that I bought. Like, it's pretty much the first thing I do. Would you do 120000 on this? Come on, think about the price. Uh, it's too hot. You know what? You can go take a hike, too. I will wait here. I've got all day to do this. Oh, this lady's looking at the R8. Uh, 950000 It's very good shape. Full tank of fuel. She'll do seven twenty four. That's setting us. That's a pretty good profit there, actually. Uh, you know what? The lowest I would go on this car is eight hundred. So would you do eight hundred thousand dollars? Come on. So there you go. All right, so we're up to one seven now. All right, we got another person looking at the Mercedes. Uh, come on. I think we have the money. We got another really high priced car out there. Ooh, one hundred twelve. That's actually a good price. Uh, would you go one twenty on this? I think one twenty. A uh, very good price. Doesn't cost you a whole lot more. Boom. All right, so we're at one, about one nine right now. Uh, somebody looking at the Chevelle over here. Come on, it's a classic. 150,000. Got a full tank of fuel. Uh, what are you thinking? 116. I didn't pay much for this thing at all. Uh, would you do 130? I think 130 is a good uh, amount here. Come on. And boom. Great investment right there. I mean, I don't know if it was that great of an investment, but uh, it's fine. All right, let's try to get rid of this BMW. Uh, it's about, wait. Was this one showing full fuel earlier? I don't know if it was or wasn't. Uh, they want to give me 126. That would be making about well, it's about 20,000 I think we could do better would you do 140 uh, uh they're thinking and boom 140,000 okay cool uh all right we're getting close there we got another R8 a Supra uh and a Tesla on the, the lot I think we do need to go ahead and get this one fixed up a little bit uh I can wash it but let's go ahead and take it over here oh I got another customer at the office it's just a mad rush of deals here I think we're gonna hit that three million dollar mark uh, this car itself, uh, if taken care of right, uh, is going to sell for big money. Hold on, people. I'm just going to paint this really quick. Uh, I wonder what the customers are thinking watching the owner like scramble uh, across the street trying to get a, another vehicle ready. I think they're probably confused. Okay, so we're going to go with the yellow on this one. All right, let's take it back over there. Okay, backed it up. Good to go. All right, let's talk to these people about the Supra. Let's see. We paid 70 grand. I'm asking 115 on it. Come on, just... Give me the money. Okay, right there we already make twenty-two thousand. Uh, we can make a little bit more. Would you do a hundred grand on this thing? I think a hundred grand's a good price there. Uh, boom. All right, so it's two point two million. 
All right, we're uh, we're ready to sell this thing. Okay, clean it up. I'm asking eight hundred thousand for this. Uh, I think it'll fetch. I want to say probably right around seven. Uh, I could be wrong about that. Come on, make sure it's nice and clean. Hold on, is this thing still clean? Sprayed off as the customer's walking up. Uh, there we go. All right, so we got that. Uh, what do you want to give me for the Tesla here? I'm asking eighty grand, which I don't think is a bad price for this one. Uh, oh, they hit me at fifty-six. No, 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 we're not even close. I'll ask the next person. Uh, I understand a little bit of like, like being able to like make a deal, but when you rip somebody off that bad, like come on, you're not even close to the price. Would you do seventy-five grand for this? I feel like seventy-five is a good price. They offered me sixty-two. Uh, okay, you know, what? lowest I will go is seventy grand. That's making a, still a decent bit of profit there. Come on, you know you want it. There you go. All right, and come on, look at the R8. I only have one car left on the lot. Uh, we have been willing and dealing, and we're gonna have plenty of money to modify this bad boy here in a minute. Not gonna lie, I'm a little salty. Nobody showed up for this R8 yet. Like, come on, it's a beautiful car. I need to sell one more car, and I think we can get to that $3 million goal. Like, I cannot accept lower than right around 700 for it. Uh, I really wanna hit that goal, but for some reason, everybody's disappeared. Like, where'd you guys go? I have so many cars on the lot. Uh, why do I not have customers here right now? All right, well, at least we're cleaning some stuff. Yeah, this is fine. Still just farming some XP here. Uh, pretty soon, I think we'll have like a max upgraded character. Speaking of, we just got a skill point. What can we buy here? Oh yeah, this is the repair speed. Uh, let's see, get your car fuel at a lower price, painting price down. Tuning price down and wash speed. Well, the only one, only one that we can do is the fuel price, so I guess we'll go ahead and unlock that. Oh, here we go. Finally. Uh, this person went... Wait, did I have two skill points? Oh, I did have two. All right, I guess we'll save one. All right, come on. Give me the money to get me to $3 million here. Uh, what are they going to say? Oh, 748. Oh, holy man. We might get close to our uh, 800. Would you do 775 here? I feel like 775 is a good price. Come on. Uh, boom. Look at that, we have $3.1 million here in this game. All right, we better close up shop. Uh, that was a very, that actually was our most successful day we've ever had in this game. And you know what? I feel like we should reward ourselves. Uh, we're gonna customize this bad boy tomorrow. Okay, let's do a little customizing on this truck, why don't we? Uh, make sure it's like fully upgraded. I want NOS, turbos, anything that we can do, we're gonna put in here. Uh, oh my goodness, you know what? This thing's actually kind of slow, which is fairly surprising. So it definitely needs a tune-up here in the tuning shop. All right, let's see. What are you going to do for me? Let's see. Let's do a race kit. Uh, ESP. Uh, you can't put a uh, NOS on it, but I guess it has a turbo. Uh, what if we put this all the way up? Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's not as ridiculous as I was picturing it. Like, I was thinking it was going to be, like, really tall. Uh, hold on. Let's get our Texas license plate. Um, let's see. Uh, sub for more. Uh, oh, wait. No, I put the cash symbol in there. Sub for more. There you go. Uh, except for more of this. Uh, do I have a bigger tire I can put on this? Uh, I really think all the tires in the game, which this would be something I'd like to see changed. I feel like they're all the same size. Like, I mean, that's not a bad looking tire there. I'll take that. I was hoping this is going to look a little bit more uh, tricked out. But like I said, if we get like body kits and like even like maybe underglow in the future, that would be really cool. Uh, all right. Let's crank this bad boy up. Uh, why does it still seem so slow? Uh, I feel like somebody's probably going to try to make like a Dodge or like a, a Ram uh, joke here. No, th this vehicle should definitely be faster. I don't know what's going on with it. All right, let's paint it. Maybe if I paint it, it'll make it faster. Uh, I think I like that red right there. Hold on, let's polish it. Uh, make it really shiny. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. Do a little cleaning on it. Well, we got another vehicle in the collection. I was hoping it was going to be like way more jacked up looking, but I mean, I still think, it oh, it's pretty. On it might almost be completely clean. Also, it sounds like it's just revving itself there. Uh, let's hit it real quick. Look at that. Okay, that is a nice looking truck right there. I would like to see more trucks in this game. Uh, more modern trucks, I should say. All right, well, we do have auction today. I don't think we're going to open up the shop since we're not really ready for that, but at least maybe we can... Oh my goodness, this is painful how slow this is. This truck needs a rework in the game because this is bad. Like, I feel like the other old truck is faster than this. But yeah, I want to see the auction today because you never know. Uh, we might finally see the new car. But yeah, that's a nice looking vehicle right there. Okay, let's buy our ticket. Uh, I think we're going to go after the vehicles regardless today since I have like no inventory on my lot. Uh, we've never sold one of these station wagons. These things have some really funny rims on here. Like it is absolutely horrendous looking. But you know what? 
We might as well say we can flip every vehicle in the game, so we'll go after this one. It shouldn't cost a lot of money, right? Uh, I'm not making over 10 grand. Uh, looks like we will probably stop shy of that. Uh, 9 1. Uh, there we go. Secured a car. Uh, we got another one here. A decent looking little R7. Um, let's see. It's got a little bit of damage on it. Probably not worth the most, but I think we're going to go for all of them here today. And I'm just hoping that new car is behind door number four. If not, it'll probably be something valuable uh, that we can flip. I just really need cars on the lot at the moment. Okay, 35,000. Boom. Got it. All right. Uh, oh. Okay, so the Buick's here. What is behind door number four? Buick's a, a decently uh, valuable vehicle in the game. So, yeah, that's a good question. Um, hoping, I mean, I'd take another GTR. Like, if we got another one of those, I would actually flip one uh, just to see what we can get for it. I had a lot of people saying that I should set a price of a car at, like, over a million dollars just to see what would happen, which I don't think it's going to do anything. I think the game pretty much has a ballpark where the car should be. Uh, come on, stop bidding. Uh, we're at 62, or almost about 63. Oh, jeez. I'm going to buy all the cars, but yeah, I don't think the AI is stupid enough to pay ridiculous prices. I mean, they're pretty bad when it comes to some of the bargaining. I, I feel like I've been able to rip some of them off. And, oh my, that is disappointing. It's the BMW. Um, well, we're going to buy it. I mean, it's not a super bad car to buy and sell, but you're not going to make a lot of money. Man, this game is really stingy when it comes to these auctions. I hope all the new cars don't get, like, exclusive to the auction. Uh, that would be a little disappointing, but you know what? We're going to buy the haul here. Let's do this. Okay, 21. Boom. All right, we bought all the cars. That's uh, 40 XP right there. You know what I would like to see? A trailer for the trucks. Like, it would be kind of cool if you could haul cars back. I mean, I guess it doesn't really make sense since they all run, but maybe eventually we'll be able to buy broken down cars that need a lot of work that you have to haul back instead of the teleporting because the teleporting sometimes, well, even though I do it, it feels a little bit on uh, the easy side. But I do think we accomplished quite a bit here today. Got our new, nice new truck, or not really new, but upgraded truck. So let me know what you guys want to see, and we'll see you guys next time.